Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. Early morning, Central California. This is actually the second time I've attempted to make this video because my phone kept ringing. Actually, the third time. Uh, phone kept ringing about other things, so I told them, cut it out. Um, not a whole lot to talk about this week. Um, we're kind of on our slide into the Thanksgiving holiday here in the US. It's next week, but uh, my boss is gone this week and she's my backup, so I can't really do too much. Or I, I'm not inclined to, do, to make any changes um, because, uh, you know, without having that backup, I, I don't want to be in the middle of something and then have, have to respond to something else. Um, only, only so much of me to go around. Um, sorry about that. Um, so basically not doing any kind of project work or making any major changes, just doing break and fix this week and next. Um, so yeah, that's where we uh, stand. I'm on call this week also, so I don't want to make any changes because if I break something, I might be up late having to fix it. So uh, yeah, we're just going to keep quiet. Keep doing, uh, just, just have a nice quiet week is what I'm trying to say. Um, so there was a request out there about uh, if I could kind of sketch out what our network looks like. And uh, yes, but in a very rough and generic kind of way, I don't want to tip my hand too much about uh, what my network looks like. Um, so let me share this with you. Boom, there we go. Put this right up here. So I will appear to be looking at you while I'm actually looking at that. So this is, this is um, basically what our network looked like before. We had one core, um, you have shown us two. There was two, two core switches. They were um, bonded together to make one logical switch, two physical switches. And that was for redundancy. So if we, we lost one of these switches, then the other one could continue with you know, providing routing functions. And you know that was a good thought, except that it, the way our network was set up, we had some switches connected to this core up here, and we had some switches connected to this core down here. So, I mean, yeah, if we lost this core, these guys would continue to function and still be able to route traffic. Um, these guys would be cut off. And if our firewall was up here on, you know, connected to this core, then these guys were great. Um, However, these guys were still out in the cold. Now, if we lost this switch, these guys were dead, no firewall. These guys couldn't really go anywhere and do anything. Um, couldn't even get to our servers because our servers were all off of this switch. So really all it did is provide redundancy to make sure our routes were still there. And that's really not all that helpful if you got routes, but you can't get anywhere because the firewall is down. So we went to our um, our network vendor and said, "Hey, we want a we want a new new design that's going to kind of account for that. We want we want full redundancy." So what they came up with was something like this. Let me see if I can do this right. There we go. So they said, "Well, you know what? Let's use." Uh, Let's implement Fabric. Um, let me put that here. Oops, not you. We want this. Sorry. This product's called Intermapper, by the way. I'm just putting in icons, but I could also add, add monitored devices here. You know, you'd add their IP address, and and you could just do a, you know monitor that just pings the device to see if it's there or uh, you can do SNMP uh, probes that will go in there and actually get SNMP traffic from these devices. Um, whether they're network switches or servers, there's all kinds of probes for uh, servers. So uh, pretty, pretty cool product. Check it out. Intermapper by used to be help systems. <clears throat> I think it's still help systems. So anyway, Extreme came back and said, here's what we propose. Um, we're going to set up a fabric core with uh, four switches. 
and we're going to make them all independent, but we're going to basically connect them in a mesh. Um, so fully redundant, we got um, these two would be in like my data center location right here. These two are down in the hospital basement across the campus. So um, we've got geographical redundancy, we've got power redundancy, we've got, um, these are multi, multi fiber cables, not just one wire that connects them. Um, we got two fibers connect these two, two fibers connect these two, two fibers connect these two. When I say fibers, I mean fiber pairs, two fiber pairs, two fiber pairs connect these two. And what Extreme Further recommended is here, let's do this. Let's attach the switches back across. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Delete that. Attach to him. There we go. So what they did is they would set these two switches up in a uh, to work basically as a pair, and they put a, a VIST in between the two, virtual inner switch trunk. And what that allows you to do is set up a, uh, um, uh, we call it a MLAG. Um, they call it a, what do they call it? A SMLT, switched multi-layer trunk, something like, I think that's what it's called. Look, look it up, SMLT. Um, it's basically, it's an aggregate link that lets you connect across two separate switches. Um, since these are both acting independently, they're not, they're not uh, stacked. They're not logically the same switch. So we use that, uh, that multi-switch trunking technology to, to connect these two across here. So that did a couple things. It gave us, uh, well, it gave us some headaches, number one, but it also gave us full redundancy. So this is now what our network looks like today. So we can lose any, we can, I am say lose. Let's say we want to update firmware. We want to reboot this core. We can reboot this core. He's still connected across this link. This core is down. He can communicate across this link. This guy can communicate to all these. These guys, this guy's going to continue to communicate just like normal. So we can update firmware in any one of these switches and not lose connectivity at all. Or we can lose one and not lose connectivity at all. And uh, this, this single wire here is also two fiber pairs to each one of these. So um, yeah, so like I said, the, the couple things it does is give us full redundancy and it also gives us uh, a, lot, a lot bigger pipe. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40 gigabit uplink basically here on all these switches. So this, this in a nutshell is pretty much what our network looks like. We just, just picture more switches hanging off here, you know, connected to these two devices. And uh, then we've also got, let me add a couple more switches in here. So connect to our WAN, we basically got, um, do two more. Do this. And let's do this. And let's do this. And this. And now this down here. I'll call the DR data center basically our disaster recovery data center out here. So these two switches here basically uh, is our WAN. So we have two WAN switches. It goes over the, the county connection. They also have a, a fabric in between these two here that I'm not gonna depict because that's theirs. I don't know what it looks like. And then now at our data center, we've got a couple more switches that are, we've got a bunch of Nutanix servers connected into these that. Uh, some of them we use, some of them just sit there idling, waiting for something bad to happen. So this is pretty much our, our full network. And uh, what's nice about this is this, this fabric here 
extends all the way out here. So any VLANs that are here show up here if needed. Um, so let's say we had a, and we do, we actually have that switch out here. So let me put, put that in. Um, it's only one switch. Yeah, you put the uh, label on the bottom and attach it to here and attach that to here. Let's move this over here. Edge switchy. Hey, I know that guy, Edge switchy. There we go. So, yeah, this so the Nutanix are actually connected into here. But um, any VLANs we need out here, we can just put it on this edge switch. And the, ma the mag magic of fabric happens, and that the, the VLAN we need is, is automatically routed out here. So, if we add a you know, VLAN 2006 out here onto this port, then we have to add it on this port and on these this port here. This is a shared port, so it's still a single port. Add the VLAN on these two ports, then the fabric recognizes that and sets up a session for that fabric, or no, for that fabric, for that VLAN. Can you tell I'm tired? I am tired. So that's up a, that VLAN out here on these switches, and that's all we need to do. I don't have to tag that VLAN anywhere else, you know. So if I want something here on VLAN 2006 and something out here on VLAN 2006. The fabric does all the setup of all that in between. I just I just make sure that the VLAN is on this this port and on this port over here and boom, it's there. So pretty cool technology. So that, uh, that's pretty much what our network looks like in a nutshell. Um, we've come a long way from just the, the single core. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it did not make life easier. Um, because where before I had one core where I would make my config changes, I would add my routes and that was it, one core done. Now I have four cores and any change I make here, I have to make here and here and here. And uh, I don't know, that just, it didn't, that didn't make life easier for me. So we'll, uh, we're 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 gonna give this a try. Um, there are there are some some issues that I don't want to talk about just yet because Extreme is working really hard to try to iron those out, and, and we do appreciate that. So we're gonna let that all play out. And uh, so far um, this month, things have been pretty stable. But uh, I'm I'm still kind of worried about messing with this stuff in here too much because number one I just don't understand it and uh, number two is it's uh, it's pretty complex. So anyway, I'll go back to there my big face. So anyway, I hope you found that uh, enjoyable or at least entertaining. Sorry for all the stuttering and pauses. Like I said, it's early and I'm tired and uh, yeah, that's the name of that tune. So uh, hit the subscribe button if you like, or the notification bell if you really want to know when I'm going to start rambling again. <laughs> and uh, everybody just go out there and be salt and light in the world. Enjoy your week. God bless. And how do you stop this crazy thing?